Good, good. No! No! Hey there, explorers and adventurers! It is Wasker bringing you another video. Today we are going to be reacting to Dark Tales, Season 1, Episode 4, The Great Dime Chase. Okay, I have really been enjoying Dark Tales, actually. I didn't think I would. I went into it expecting to enjoy it as much as Gravity Falls, but I've actually been enjoying it more than Gravity Falls, so that's a bit of a surprise to me. It's a easy breezy, beautiful wee watch. I have a feeling it's not going to stay like that forever, but I'm enjoying it whilst it lasts. I really like a lot of the characters, it's endearing, the animation is totally up my street, the character designs are adorable. There's a couple of characters that I really don't care for and you can probably tell by my reactions that I have like no reactions when they're on the screen. I'm just like, what is the guy's name? Big buff duck that's stupid as fuck. Him. Launchpad or whatever isn't it? Yeah, him. I just, we're gonna find out that's not his name. That's not his name at some point. Well, I want, I'm excited to learn more about him but right now I just don't care. I'm like, uh. But everybody else I'm invested in. Still got the mystery from it like the end of episode one of the mother that we then have not brought up again so I'm interested to see like how episodic it's going to be until proper plot points start coming in because we've been getting some throwaway lines. Anyway I'm excited to get stuck in though hopefully you guys are as well don't forget to thumbs up video click subscribe to join me on this DuckTales journey I would love to have you. Leave me your fake spoilers down in the comment section down below and if you want access to the full raw early uncut version of these reactions and I try to be one or two episodes ahead on Patreon as well then click the link in video description down below will take you to my Patreon where I also do a Harley Quinn exclusive reaction series. But that is enough fanning around so here it is and we're going to click play, click play and get started. Let's go. They could always turn off the telly. Yeah. The remote's way over there. <laughs> such a mood. Such a mood. <laughs> He's one of my favourite. I love all of the, the triplets for different reasons. I love how distinct all their little personalities are. Louis is by far like my favourite. I think he's giving me very strong Mermista vibes. I thought I'd move to the big TV in a few hours, you know? Wow, how many sodas have you got? Wow. Hey, do we have any more pep? You've got six full cans right here. I only like that first sip. Peak carbonation. Never mind, I'll call it Beakley. Oh, oh man, my phone's dead. I guess I gotta buy a new one. Just oh. shot. <laughs> okay, so he's like really living up in a luxury style here and squandering. Right, okay, okay, okay. And Scrooge is gonna have to have words with them about it. Okay. Check to learn the value of a hard day's work. Well done, good for you. That's a good idea. Okay, I oh, don't know. What are you doing? Do we, what are you doing? Is this, whose room is this? This doesn't look like it's your room. Is this Webby's room? This looks like this could be Webby's room, in which case I feel like you're making a big mistake here, Dewey. Oh. What you doing? Ah, no, I'm not breaking in, you're breaking in. I'm sorry, I was just looking for information about my family. Yes, ah! finally. I've been waiting for it to circle back around to this. Okay, good. What do you want? One time, a piece of junk mail with her name on it showed up at our door. A day later, Scrooge bought the post office and I never saw our mailman again. Interesting. Maybe he retired? Bad things happen to people who ask about Della Duck. So who are we Della gonna Della Duck. Ask? <laughs> yes, Webby, let's go! Yeah, she's really excited. She's down for this. She's so down for this. Oh, <laughs> yeah. no, you don't. Yeah, let's go. You're not getting any of the pep out of that machine, I don't think. Or maybe you will at the what end. Is, this place? is that what gonna be what he goes to at the end of the it's, it's there for a reason, right? Or is he gonna he's gonna go to that at some point in the episode? I don't think it has any massive relevance. I'm just like, hmm. Okay. Private library of Scrooge McDuck. Mm. If there's info about your mom, it's in here. And uh, keeper of the books. Ugh, go away, Webby. For the last time, Mr. McDuck's Who archives are, are strictly off limits. Who are you? Except to his family. Meet Dewey Duck. No ID, no nothing, just accepted that straight away. Love that. What a name can have meaning. No, oh, cute. He's not interested. Blood you out of your head, you'll crack your skull open. Yeah, but you don't. You seem to just, it turns into liquid for you. Don't swim in money all the time. Yeah. Yes, but I worked hard to perfect that skill. Ah. Building muscles and dexterity. I love how the show is like justifying it slightly. It's kind of funny. I've got to give it up. You want something? You work hard to get it. Good. Good. Gyro Gear Loose, my head of research and development. 
Oh, sorry, cool. But we apology accepted. Now try to keep <laughs> my mind numbing genius. Jairo, what Jairo. did we say about interacting with other people? <sighs> the cards, fine. Hello, Mr. McDuck. And others. Are you tired of all those single-use gadgets cluttering up your junk drawer? What a mess! You'll never have to do anything yourself again. That's cool. Oh no, Louie. Louie, you're here and learn about hard work, buddy. Like, I love you, you're great, but like, you're here to learn, buddy. Work's important. He's gonna steal this little guy and make it run about and get him juice from that bloody vending machine and all sorts, isn't he? He really is. I'm sure it says here you're spending $15 million on magical defense. Do you have any idea how many vengeance cusses I have on my head? Okay, so he does spend a lot of money. It's just on really obscure and abstract things that make a lot of sense to him and that he needs, but to the rest of us, we'd have been like, what? Okay. The trials! <laughs> Why have we... This is my new favourite library. Why haven't we gotten her name, huh? Is that, is that, like, is it's not gonna be that that's their mother or something, is it something obscure? I'm like, I'm like, I don't want her to be a librarian, I want her to be something super cool and important. Who keeps dimes on them anymore? Oh, the dime in the office, don't do it, don't do it. Don't do it, Louie, there's a reason that's Wait, there. Wait, has an emergency dime. No, it's not. Oh, God, you twat. In return, he gave me an American dime. That dime inspired me to move to America and find my fortune. It means more to me than every bit of bullion in my money bin. Uh, I gotta go. Bye. <laughs> He's going to use a little, a light, the little light guy to go in and get the dime back out machine. Oh no! Oh no, but how are you meant to know which dime it is? Oh god, this poor little fucker. So he's, his hard day's work is gonna be getting this dime back for his uncle Scrooge. And Scrooge is gonna be like, what have you done all day? And he's gonna be like, nothing, when he finally gets it back and he's gonna be tired as fuck. Come on! Uh, <laughs> that's me! Oh, oh no, how is he meant to know which one is which? Well, I'm dead. Yeah, 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 yeah. teach you how to pick a lock. First, you need a small, thin eye. <laughs> charged his phone <laughs> how many of us have done this with youtube how many of us have actually sat there watching a youtube tutorial as we've needed to do something god i do it all the time man he wants an auto in wit storage by this afternoon <laughs> they're never gonna get that out of in tough to time <laughs> focus why are those guys coming up that's twice they've now appeared Setting up like Glum Gold's new henchmen or something? If this is about the Gear Loose Magnetic Backpack, I specifically said they should not be used as school bags. Blattering, blatherskite, one team! I like this guy, he's quirky, he's really funny, and he speaks his mind. To a moving school bus. No, 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 no. Louie Duck, Scrooge's super rich nephew. Keep talking, <laughs> sir. Anything you say, rich nephew. Blue Bob, you be good. Don't you rise up against your masters. <laughs> <laughs> Just a little robot humor. Poor little guy. No, wait, I need to go up. Put in a hard day's work. I think I'm so much smarter than you. <laughs> Where have you been? Good lad. Feel free to take as many parts as you want. But are we not allowed to use those either, you petty pension buzzards? <laughs> You <laughs> penny pension buzzards. I love the way he talks. It's so good. I love David Tennant's voice so much. He's so good at Scrooge. Make sure use the front and back of every page. Yes. Right small. <laughs> He's gonna have to go all the way back at night. <laughs> but has the machine not taken that dime by now? And that's how you unlock a door. <laughs> good job, Louie. Oh, I was getting angry because he says good job Louie instead of the good job little bulb. Oh, buddy. The thing is, is that if you built up a relationship with this little guy, he could be like really useful to you. Like if you built an actual friendship up and kept him around, like he could be useful in all the upcoming episodes and seasons. It's Louie and I feel like if it was Huey, 
We wouldn't have a problem here. Do we? Eh, Louis? Nah. <laughs> Oh, it's gonna take over the machine! No! Oh no, I just finished watching Murder Drones! Come on, I just literally just finished and do you know what that show is about? It's about like this entity virus thing that takes over robots! Ugh. Fucking hell! It's got a bigger problem than just trying to find this bloody thing. One must first offer up. Okay, but who are no. you? Look like did I miss? Normally, I would be super. Who did you just call? Oh, hold on. What did you just call? Am I? To gain knowledge from the archives, one must first offer up knowledge. Look like faster. Normally, I would Quack be super faster. Mysterious conspiracy. Quack faster. Okay, is that your name? Did I miss it? Maybe I missed it. Maybe they did. Maybe she did introduce herself and I just totally missed it. I am half deaf in one ear, so apologies. There are those who would destroy you for the knowledge you seek. Just like the mailman. Who's gonna destroy me? Who, yeah. The government? The unicorn Illuminati? The me. government? Oh. Wait. What? <laughs> the fuck? Okay, this has definitely gotten a lot more interesting. There it is. Hey, you found it! Great and job. about that. Buddy. Not a little buddy anymore, just FYI. <laughs> At least he got the day back! Terrifying. Throw it. How to disarm any foe? Throw it. Yep. <laughs> Oh, that's impressive skill. Fine. The armor can I think. <laughs> gyro is definitely unnecessary. Are you insane? Gyro Gilus is one of the most brilliant minds of our time. You miserable piece of rust. This is so true though. See people that see people that are super, super, super intelligent, like super book smart, can't do the most basic of things. Have you noticed that? Like the tiniest little like problem solving life skill is just like incomprehensible to them. Oh god. Yeah, you may wanna, you may wanna, yeah, help with that. Oh. Wait, I feel like that list was important. Hold on. <laughs> Maybe it isn't, but just in case it comes back up. Let's see what we got. Okay, good. Cogs, arms, arm. okay, so it's literally all of them. Achieved sentience. Okay, time tub, achieved sentience. That's the only one that's got that written under it, so I wonder if time tub is gonna come back up again at some point. Okay. You do have a perfectly good office downtown. Do you really need a money bin? Just fire them. If they work for you, just fire them. Foolish child. You do not know what you think you know. I don't know anything! That's the and point! It's really frustrating! Louis, <laughs> 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 over here! Ah, <laughs> uh, never mind. <laughs> 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 a distraction! A <laughs> distraction! <laughs> 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 huh? No, that was perfect Maybe distraction. He's had a hell of a day, the poor scone. Like, I'm all for learning the lesson to work hard and stuff, but. No, he's gonna hang on to that dime with all of his might. Come on! Oh. Why am I so invested in a dime? You may think they're crackpots and weirdos, but they are the ones who push innovation and creativity and spar the. You tell him! Oh, this better be the right dime. This better be the right fucking dime. Look, they're all mad as loons, and if you fire them, they're definitely going to seek revenge. True, that's uh, true. All in favour of keeping the bin and everyone in it far away from our offices. Yeah, aye, uh, yeah. Good, good. No! No! God's sake! At least now we would have an excuse, to some degree. Come on! Uh, <laughs> oh my god, Louie, what a shame! How is he still standing? I would be dead. I would be so dead right now if I were him. I'd be so scunner. Oh my god. Oh no. 
no, 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 no. He's gonna have to perfect the drop. He's gonna have to perfect it. Uh, of course. Tell me about my mom. Why don't you see for yourself? Ah, uh, there it is. This is it. This is it. This is. Oh, empty. Nothing. Time. So, you write me a check, or? Ah. Uh, a pleasure, yeah. always. I'll be in my office if you need me. Please oh don't need me. <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> He's such a fucking mood. That'd be me to be like, please, just for the life of God, just leave me alone. Why have they got, why? I mean, I'm sure that they're very good at their job, but why? Putting the books back, he's trying to get the dime. The last book. There it is. Ooh. Ooh, okay. I'm suddenly very much more invested, don't do it. it was... oh, there you are. Oh, yeah, right. You got it back at it. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. It's Pyramid, well, son of a bitch. What is up with this stupid library? The duck family DNA recognized. Uh, DNA, wow. Okay, so there's his mom. Wow. Oh, this is cool. This is what I've been waiting for. Scrooge, I've taken the spear of Selene. I'm sorry. Oh, they uh, mentioned. Wait, what did she take? Why is she sorry? The spear of Selene. Did she betray your uncle Scrooge? We can't tell anyone about this until we find out what it means. Okay. I'm proud of your life. That means it's not going to come back up for another couple of episodes, maybe, I think, just based on that. Okay, but the Spear of Selene, Donald said that in, like, episode... It was episode one on my channel, but it was technically episode two of the Atlantis episode, where he says this is the Spear of Selene all over again. And I had the feeling at that point that that was the reason why Donald and Scrooge had, like... So it's obviously something to do with Donald's sister, their mother. Was the speed of Selene maybe like really dangerous in some way and Scrooge never told them how dangerous? Or didn't tell them, give them all the information about what the spear was or what? I'm assuming it is a spear, but it may not be. It might be something else. And so Donald blames Scrooge for that? You're giving me your number one dime? That's not my lucky dime. I never let my dime out of my sight. That was just a decoy. I'm not an idiot. This place is full of lunatics. A dime sure means more when you have That's cute. He worked hard for that dime today. He did everything for that dime. That's really cute. That's his dime. That's going to become his memento now from like the one massive day's hard work that he had. That's cute. But yeah, that was clever, Scrooge. That was very, very, very fucking clever. <gasps> no! Never mind. I take it back. I take it back. Mm, gyro controls robot. Gyro is robot. Mm. Project Blatherscape. Oh no, that doesn't sound good. That's coming back up at some point. Maybe the time tub thing as well. No, no, Gyro, don't do anything fucking stupid, okay? Don't just... <sighs> Okay. Okay, so we got introduced to a brand new character. We learned a little bit more about their mum. I need to find out what that is all about. I keep wanting to call it the Spear of Sel Selenia, but Selenia is, is from she and it's something totally different and I just can't get my brain out of she right now. I'm glad we got a little bit more about the mum's side now. I think it's going to be like, just based on the fact that he was like, we can't tell anybody this until we find out more information. That to me tells me it's going to be in our couple of episodes or something before we find out a little bit more. But either way, I really enjoyed that. That was really good. It's such a great little show. I'm really enjoying it. I'm excited to see where it goes. There's been a couple of little things, the little seeds planted in this episode that is going to come back up clearly at some point. I don't know in which format yet or in which episode, but it'll be interesting to see how the show does it. I really enjoyed that. Hopefully you guys did as well. Don't forget to thumbs up the video, click subscribe if you want access to the full 32 minute long version of the reaction. You can click the link in the video description down below. It will take you to my Patreon, but I'm also usually a little bit ahead on Patreon as well. That is all I've got time for. I will see you next time with another video. And until then, peace to back, guys.